Happy Sunday part two. Sunday night, we're at Halloween Horror Nights. Off to a bang. There's nobody even directing traffic. Nobody knows where to go. Should we park there? It's an empty space. Oh, that's not a space. Oh, where do we go? So by the way, NBC is showing Sunday Night Football right now, but not outside on the TVs. You can watch a giant commercial for the Olympics though. This is the line to get in at 8 o'clock at night. It's about an hour long. What's amazing is after going through all of the security and the lines and everything, it took about 45 minutes or so, people are still buying tickets to get in here. So I kind of had an issue with security because they went through my wallet at the security checkpoint. I don't know when your rights end and where they begin when you come to a private event, but that seems a bit extreme. Oh my God, it's a service dog going through the, the scare zones. I can't imagine the dog not getting scared with the chainsaws. So now there's like a random chainsaw guy out here in the zone too. Not sure what that's about. Look who's back in this zone. Eddie is back. I feel like that shirt should be on clearance now that the day has passed, but what are you gonna do? I like that these vinyl ETs, ET's hand is yellow, his finger. What was he doing? I don't remember his finger being yellow when he was glowing. What the heck is going on? Check it out, they got a flex capacitor replica, 668. And Mr. Fusion, 632, although you can get that online at a lot of different places for a little bit cheaper. I don't remember seeing the flux capacitor before. Oh, she's killing the dog! Right outside of Finnegan's. Dog dead. Dog dead. I love that dog. Oh, he's not playing. Can we have his candy now? He found a scare actor. Girl is scared so much she's falling on the floor. Oh my. So the Horror Nights Twitter account is doing a contest where you can meet Jack. So we're sitting waiting for a couple of minutes to figure out if we can run somewhere and beat him. <laughs> Look alive. <laughs> Look alive. Look alive. I may be schizophrenic, but I have no idea what you're talking about. Tastes like chicken. <laughs> no brain. Check out Jason, he's wandering all the way over here now. And now a swarm of people for him.
Jason's running around like a maniac. She's doing her cheer. Go team! We even have clowns being nice tonight. Look at that. I love the clowns. You have a clown on you. By the way, everybody, this is Bippo. When you come over to the Springfield area and you see Bippo, you better run. He will get you. So by the way, you can look over there and see just how drunk people are as they're stumbling out of here. And they're getting in cars. And they're driving home. That's Horror Nights. So this is the end of an interesting night. Not the greatest night at Halloween Horror Nights. But it's the end nonetheless. And we gotta get up in a couple of hours for work too, but somebody's car is being stolen. Can you hear that alarm? <laughs> hey, we're back home from Halloween Horror Nights. It was a mixed bag tonight. I'm not gonna say it was an awesome night because I think it was far from awesome. I will say this, some things need to be changed at Halloween Horror Nights, as well as probably most other haunts um, across the country. Unfortunately, I think this is on both extremes. So on one hand, walking through security tonight to get into the park, I have security go through everything, including my wallet, looking through money and credit cards and things like that so that they can look for some, some type of item. And then on the other hand, um, there's been a consistent flow where I can see from sitting in the, the scare zones of scare actors being harassed or touched or um, physically assaulted. And the cops are everywhere, as well as the security and the zone managers. So they're doing their job and they should be commended for the jobs that they're doing. But um, there's a driving force to this, I think. There's a reason why there's such tight security as you're trying to get in, as well as the reason why people are not behaving the way that they need to behave. I don't know if that's necessarily only alcohol driven, but I think that's one of the key components. I think what we'll do is probably get our thoughts together and put that down um, into um, writing at least for the Cheap Seats website and get that up this week for folks. Maybe send it over to Universal as kind of an open letter type of thing. But on that note, I've got to get up in a little over three hours for work tomorrow. So thank you for all of your likes. Thank you for your comments. Thank you for your subscriptions. Treat others the way you want to be treated. Have a great night. We'll see you guys. Subscribe to the Cheap Seats. Or she'll get you.